Hello friends, welcome to our second video in our Spring Vibes series. For this video, we are going to do a really super simple tumbler using beautiful glitter and semi-transparent vinyl, two of my favorite things. So starting out, we're going to use a 20 ounce curved tumbler from Stainless Steel Depot or Hog. I'm gonna start by prepping my tumbler. Now, I don't go over this in every video, but I try to do it with all of my cups. Sometimes I forget, but prepping your surface is really important. So what you wanna do is take your tumbler and sand it down using either an electric sander or a sanding block. And I'm using 80 grit here. So you can see when I sand my tumbler down, we get these rough little areas on the cup and that's going to help everything just adhere better. So I'm going to sand down the entire surface of my tumbler to get it ready and then I'm going to wash it with either dish soap and water or in this case I'm just going to use rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to spray my cup with my rubbing alcohol and then I'll wipe it down with a paper towel and you're going to see all of the wild sanding residue that's going to come off here. So you want to make sure that when you're sanding you're also properly cleaning off all of that sanding residue so none of that gets in the way of any of your designs. So now that our tumbler is prepped, we can base paint it so that we can apply our glitter. Now I wanted to show you what this iridescent type of glitter looks like on three different bases because when you use these types of glitters, the base that you use on your tumbler matters. So the glitter we're going to use on our tumbler today is Jojoba from Peachy Olive Glitters. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on a white base, a turquoise base, or one that like matches the color of the glitter. And then on a black base, one of my favorite things to do is take these like iridescent shifty glitters and put it on a black base because the color completely changes. In this case, it didn't change too, too much, but anyway, so I'm going to just show you really quick how base coat does matter. Um, if you're using a more metallic glitter, it, the base coat doesn't really matter as much, but with an iridescent color, you can see the glitter looks just a little bit different based on what color base you put down before it. So I just wanted to include that because I get a lot of questions about like, should you really base coat? Does it really matter? And in most cases, I would say yes, it's important to match your base to your glitter color so you have really full coverage and really vibrant color. So I'm going to take that turquoise color and of course in true mal fashion I'm going to put way too much on my cup, way more than you need. <laughs> I'm also using my favorite acrylic paint. This is the Delta Creative Ceram Coat brand. So I'm just going to do a nice hefty full coat of paint on my tumbler, let it dry for about an hour, and then I'll be ready to apply my glitter. To apply my glitter today, I'm going to use the epoxy method. So I've got my Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy here, and I'm going to put maybe about three milliliters on my tumbler. I'm just going to spread a really nice even layer all over the cup so that we can apply our glitter. I let that epoxy layer dry for about two to three hours and then I was ready to add my first two coats of epoxy over the top of the glitter. I'm still using my Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy here and each of these first two coats is about 20 milliliters. In between coats, I'm waiting about six hours. And after those first two coats of epoxy, my cup was not completely smooth. So I had to do some sanding, but since we're going to do some semi-transparent vinyl over our glitter, I had to do another coat of epoxy over my sanding. So I sanded down the rim of my cup really well, sanded down the bottom rim, the body of the tumbler, just to make sure it was as smooth as I can get it. And then I'm going to add another thin coat of epoxy over that to shine up the surface of my tumbler and make it perfect so that we can put our semi-transparent florals on the cup. This is really, really, really important because if you sand your tumbler and don't shine that surface back up again, when you put that clear vinyl over the sanded surface, the epoxy won't be able to get through and shine that area up again, if that makes sense. It, the clear vinyl will essentially like block that from happening. So you'll have all of these dull sanded areas on your tumbler that you don't want. So it's really important after sanding that you add either another coat of epoxy or like a clear coat of spray. I, I always prefer a just a coat of epoxy to make sure everything's even and smooth, but 
do whatever you need to do to make sure that your cup is totally smooth and shiny before you go on to this next step. So the semi-transparent vinyl that I'm using here is called Watercolor Florals. It's from Banff Custom Creations. And because I'm using a curved tumbler, I'm gonna cut this vinyl into really small pieces, pretty much like flower by flower. And I'm just gonna place them all individually. But if you're using a straight tumbler, you can, if you want to, just wrap the whole sheet of vinyl around your cup. You don't have to cut everything up into little tiny pieces. But when working with a curved tumbler like this, for me, it's just easier to place everything down by hand then I can make it look really how I want it to look and keep everything spaced the way I want it and have a little bit more control so I'm just gonna go through cut out all of these flowers and leaves fill up my tumbler and then we'll move on to our decal Before we apply our decal, I am going to add another thin coat of epoxy over all of that semi-transparent vinyl to seal it in and protect it and make sure that we have a really nice smooth surface for our decal to go on. So for the decal, I'm going to use this brand new shimmer vinyl. This is from TechRap Craft. It's really sparkly and the green color, although it's named Christmas green, is really perfect to match jojoba. So I cut out my offset in that glitter vinyl or shimmer vinyl. And then for the top, of course, I'm using my favorite champagne gold textured metallic. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is put the offset down on my tumbler first. And again, because we're using a curved tumbler, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than if you're just using a straight tumbler. So what I'm gonna do is put my transfer tape on, place my decal, and then I'm going to cut little slits in my transfer tape, as you can see here, kind of line by line so that I can place the decal down around the curve of the tumbler. So I'm gonna do that on one side and then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side just to make sure that everything lays down really nicely. We don't have any crinkles or bubbles or anything messed up on the offset. Once we've got the offset applied, of course we can apply the top layer of our decal. By the way, this decal is available on my website. Also, members of my Elite Fam get this file for free. So if you wanna join the Elite Fam, the information is down in the description box for you. So again, I'm using my textured metallic champagne gold vinyl here, and I'm just going to cut the decal up word by word and place it on its corresponding offset. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply my final two coats of epoxy. For my final two coats, I use the Flynn Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy. And once those are cured, we are all done. So here is the final design. I am obsessed with this color combination. If you don't have jojoba from Peachy Olive Glitters, you need to order it immediately because it's so freaking beautiful and so sparkly. I just love it. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Let me know, of course, what you think down below in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another spring tutorial. Okay, love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the Elite Fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my Elite Fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.